Good day. This is ACT 312, Production and Operation. In the last study section, that is study section 3, you were introduced to plan, location, and layout. But in this study section, you'll be introduced to material handling. When you have studied this section, you should be able to discuss materials handling. You should be able to discuss the objectives of materials, uh, material handling, explain the principle of material handling, and discuss the selection of material handling equipment. Let's start by uh, defining material handling the term material handling. Material handling is the heart and science involving the movement, handling, and storage of materials during different stages of manufacturing. Thus, the, functional, the function includes every consideration of product except the actual processing operation. In many cases, however, the handling is also included as an, integ as an integral part of the process through scientific material handling Considerable reduction in the cost as well as in the production cycle time can be achieved. What are the objectives of material handling? The following are the objectives of material handling. Number one, minimizing cost of material handling. Minimizing delays and interruptions by making available the materials at the point of use at right quantity and at the right time. Increase the productive capacity of the production facilities by effective utilization of capacity and enhancing productivity. Safety in material handling through improvement in working condition. Maxim maximum utilization of material handling equipment. Prevention of damages to materials and lastly, lower investment in process inventory. So these are the objectives of um, material handling. Let's talk about the principles of material handling and this can be discussed under the following planning uh, principle, system principle, space utilization principle, unit load principle, graffiti principle. Let's talk about our planning principle. Under planning principle, all handling activities should be planned. What about system principles? Under this, uh, plan a system integrating as many early activities as possible and coordinating the full scope of operation that is receiving, storage, production, inspection, packing, warehousing, supply, and transportation. So under a uh, system principle, these must uh, be integrated. Space utilization principle, that is, under this principle, make optimum use of cubic space. While unit load principle uh, talks about increased quantity, size, weight of load, and load. Under gravity principle, utilize gravity to move a material wherever pra practicable. But under, we also have other uh, principles which are material flow principle. And under this, uh, 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 we need to plan an operation sequence and equipment uh, arrangement to optimize material flow. We also have a simplification uh, principle, which reduce, um, combine or eliminate uh, unnecessary movement or equipment. A selection of material handling equipment. Selection of material and equipment is an important decision as it affects both cost and efficiency of handling system. There are some factors that need to be taken into uh, account, consideration, while selecting material and equipment. One of them is properties of material, of the material. Whether it is solid, liquid, or gas, and in what size and shape and weight it is to be moved, uh, Important, uh, it is important to put into consideration uh, and can already lead. One of them is properties of the material. Whether it is solid, liquid, or gas, in what size, shape, weight, 
it is to be moved are important considerations and can uh, already lead, lead to a preliminary elimination from the range of available equipment under review. Similarly, if a material is fragile, corrosive, or toxic, this will imply that certain handling methods and containers will be preferable to others. Layout and characteristics of building. Another restricting factor is the availability of space for handling. Low level ceiling may uh, uh, preclude the use of hoists and cra or cranes, and the presence of supporting column is awkward. Uh, places can limit the size of the material handling equipment. If the building is multi stored, chutes or uh, ramps for industrial trunks may be uh, used. Layout itself will indicate the type of production operation, uh, whether it's continuous, inter intermittent, fixed uh, position of group, and can indicate some, some items of equipment that will be more suitable than others. Floor capacity also helps in selecting the best uh, material and the equipment. Let's talk about the third uh, 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 factors which is production flow. If the flow is fairly constant between two fixed positions that are not likely to change, fixed equipment such as conveyors or tubes can be success successfully used. If on the other hand uh, the flow is not constant and the direction changes occasionally from one point to another because of several products, uh, uh, because several products are being produced simultaneously, Moving equipment such as trunks will be preferable. What about cost consideration, which is a, um, uh, one of the factors? Um, this is one of the most important considerations. The above factors, which is uh, cost consideration, can help to narrow the uh, range of suitability, suitable equipment, while costing uh, can help in taking a final decision. Several cost elements need to be taken into consideration while comparing, while, while, when comparisons are made between various items of equipment that are all capable of handling the same load. Initial investment and operating and maintenance costs are the major costs to be considered. By calculating and comparing the total cost for each of the items of equipment under consideration, a more rational decision can be reached on the most appropriate choice. Let's talk about the last factor, which is the nature of operations. Selection of equipment also depends on nature of operations like whether handling is temporary uh, or permanent, whether the flow is continuous or intermittent, and uh, material flow pattern, uh, whether vertical or uh, horizontal. Let's progress, let's move on as we talk about uh, Madeira here. Yeah, uh, equipment being categorized into two major uh, uh, parts. Uh, broadly, material handling equipment can be classified into two categories, namely fixed path equipment and variable path equipment. Under fixed path equipment, um, uh, there's a movement in fixed path. Uh, for example, a conveyor's monorail devices, chutes, and pulley drive. A slight variation in this category is provided by the overhead crane, which though restricted, can move material in any manner within a restricted area by virtue of design. Overhead cranes have a very good range in terms of uh, hauling tonnage and, and are used for handling bulky raw materials, stacking and uh, times, uh, at times, palletizing uh, you will have seen uh, this before where maybe you are going along um, a site and you see overhead cranes uh, used to uh, to uh, handle bulky raw materials let's talk about variable path equipment I have no restrictions variable path equipments have no restriction in the direction of movement Although their size is a factor to be given due consideration, uh, trucks, forklifts, mobile cranes, and industrial tractors belong to this category. Forklifts are available in many ranges, 
they are ma maneuverable and uh, various attachments are provided to increase their versa, uh, versatility so these are the two major categories two categories we have under materials and lean equipment let's talk about categories of materials and the equipment which are conveyors industrial trucks cranes and hoists containers and uh, lastly robots uh, material and equipment may be classified into five major uh, categories uh, let's talk about five uh, the, the one the first of them which is conveyors conveyors are useful for movement for moving materials between two fixed work stations either continuously or intermittently they are mainly used for continuous or mass product mass production operations indeed they are suitable for most operations where the flow is more or less uh, steady conveyors may be of various types with rollers wheels or belts to help uh, move the material along uh, this may be power driven or may roll frequently the decision to provide conveyors will be taken with care since they are usually cost costly to install moreover they are less flexible and where to or more converge it is necessary to coordinate the speed at which uh, the two conveyors move so we have other um, categories which are uh, cranes and oils containers and robots uh, thanks for listening